<coughs> now, on the agenda today, we have um, three topics. Um, one is I'm going to talk to you about the thematic bracket, thematic notation. And um, then secondly, we're going to talk about the um, app that Hannah is developing for putting Laban Writer on iPad. And then the third thing we're going to do is Zach is going to, wants to talk about this, but I'm going to ask him maybe to if he would be willing to make make a little bit of a discussion about why he, he he's developing a new way a new to to teach and to think about lava notation and why he is interested in starting with the um, blind turn sign as the foundation of his of his system or of his way of approaching LN, which I think is a, you know a fascinating uh, topic. So let's divide up our time. <coughs> let's say if we um, if we if we spend no more than and maybe you know if we see, you you help me figure this out. If we if we spend no more than forty five minutes on the thematic bracket, right? Or half hour each. Half hour each. Hour. Right, half, half, hour hour each. Each. half hour each for the thematic bracket. Then that'll work out. I mean the thematic bracket and then um, iPad and then that. All right, good. <coughs> so the thematic bracket is um, what thematic notation is something. I'm talking about motifs. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I just thought my husband, I get nervous when he, gets, he tries to call. Um, I'm talking, I'm going to talk to you and use um, indications that I developed for motif notation, mm -hmm. though I believe this is also applicable to lava notation, and I think that actually Sandra may have, I know I years ago I've conferred with her and she might have used it in, in her scores, but it was developed for motif notation and and the examples that I'm using, um, these things are from my book and this was something that I first published in the book. And it's beginning to appear in, in some different venues. So um, I started developing it I don't know how many years ago, 10 million years ago, when I was actually a student at, at, at LIMS, uh, at 25, <laughs> 30 years, I don't know. And the issue was we would look at movement, let's say a sequence of movement, a series of movements, um, you know. Uh, This. I'm just, you know, improvising something. Yeah. And and then let's say that whole big chunk of time. And we'd say, you know what I noticed a lot of, not always, but what really stood out over time was, and it could be a lot of different things, but let's say what I noticed at that for this time is that there were that that she was making paths. That's what I was thinking about as I did it. And then we'd say, all right, let's go and notate that. And then what people would do is they'd notate this, then this, then this, then this, then this, then, this, then you know, and it would be like this pig long thing. And the notation had no uh, mm -hmm. correlation with what we had said we had observed. So I said, well, we need some way of, of writing that. So I came up with the idea, and, and it evolved over time, of the thematic bracket. And um, I'll give you an example. This is an example. This is paid from, from my book. But um, if you look at, at the example on the left, which I'm going to call literal notation, so we have a series of movements. And, and you have it on your uh, okay. 174A. 
right? You move your arms while you move your head, then you do, you move your arms while you do three times when you do a move, a, an aerial movement. Are these, some of these symbols may not be familiar to, to you if you're not in no take, but then you travel while you move your arms, then you move your left arm, then you move both arms, then you move both arms again while you turn, all right? And I'm saying, what I'm saying is, you know, one of the things that stands out to me in this dance, in this, in this sequence, is that it's about arm movement. So the thematic bracket, which you can see, is this a bracket with the, the little um, ticks on either end. And the reason we, is this okay? This yeah, one? yeah. Mm -hmm. that, we came, that it came up with this after lots of conferring with Anne and different people, was this bracket doesn't look like anything else. This, lots of things were suggested. Why don't you use this? Or why don't you use, you know, and all of these different things were used for other purposes. So it's very confusing. So we ended up using this, and this is what it comes to be. All right. So are there any questions so far about what this is? All right. So. Is, is, is uh, 174B supposed, to, it, it's not supposed to represent all the movements happening in 174A. It's saying, right? yes. It's saying that when, <coughs> that this movement, that this, sequence of movements, right? If you saw somebody, just like you watched me, doing these movements, okay? I'm gonna do it a dance, okay? And I'm gonna tell you ahead of time, what I'm thinking about is making paths in the dance. So the, the, over time, it's not just uh, uh, saying what happens at any given moment, what is sailing, over time, what is sailing. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, now I'm going to go and make another thing, and I'm going to make another path, and make another path, make another path, right? And, and so what I'm telling you is that, it, we, we like to call this the about bow, what, it, what it's about over time, right? What I wanted you to notice, even though there were other things going on and maybe Maybe I didn't always do paths, but what stood out overall was that it's about paths. So what you're saying is, and that this what is stands <coughs> out. I'm, so, you know, like when I when if if I was going to go and do this movement, is I want you to think about it being about moving your arms. Okay. Right, but you wouldn't say that 174B is what you would write instead of 174A. I would. Well, yeah. the thing it's is, the, the motif notation give you, like, each reader diff the freedom mm -hmm. of express different kind of movements. So exactly. even though there's a symbols, but everyone reading or presenting different movements. Let's look, let me, let me show you, it's a, it's a it, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have a suggestion. On the symbols up above, I mm -hmm. would probably put the opposite forward sign. You know, there are two, there's the right side and the left side because of the way the path, the, the theme bow seems to be a right side of the staff type of theme bow. I would probably put a right side of the staff forward sign. The chimney. Uh, the chimney. So oh, you put side. the chimney on the other side. Okay. Yes, that's, a, that's, that's an interesting, I see, interesting. Um, when we go and look you can actually put this thing on either. S you could put right, the you could flip, it flip, flip the, the bow side. on the other side. But but uh, but you, what you're saying is um, that visually it feels better to have the sign. That's a bit very interesting. Okay, good. Thank you. Let's let's look at um, a movement example. I'm, I've made some. This first example, <coughs> Fred Astaire and. Cicerice and Dancing in the Dark. And unfortunately, it's the only clip that's got advertisements on it, which mm -hmm. I haven't been able to, it's a whole, talk about copyright, but that's a whole other issue. Um, I, can you see this? Yeah. Okay. Don't worry about the camera zooming in or not, because I can mm -hmm. do this. Um, can you see what I've written? Mm -hmm. All right, now. I'm going to look at this little sequence, 
And there are, there are many di a zillion different ways of looking at it, and the criteria for what you say is a theme could be very different. It might be the thing that happens most often, or it might be something, just one thing that happens at the climax of the movement, or it might be the thing that happens because it's, it occurs because at one point, the, you know, it's soft music, and all of a sudden there's a drum. <coughs> there are any number of criteria. Um, I didn't make a thing, oh, here. Uh, Last, the thing that lasts a long time, the thing that's performed with particular body portion involvement, it's the most dynamic. It occurs when the, maybe the movers all of a sudden come, come together. It could be any criteria. So in this particular case, I think when I was thinking back about it, I made, I think what I was talking about is what happened most often. But that's, that's not real, what, what my first impression was when I looked at this dance with this little sequence of the dance is that the beginning, I divided it up, that's not, yeah, I divided it up into certain chunks and I said in the beginning part of it, there's turning, just like we're gonna talk about. Now I want you to notice in the beginning part of the thing, there's turning and then, and then there's a pause and then in the next part of it, there's stepping, right? And it ends with turning again. Now again, you could divide it up in many different ways, and whatever you put in there would be very different. But this is my perception, right? So I'm going to try to do it. Should we do it the big way to begin yep. with? Now, there's a play on the middle, m middle of the screen, yeah. All right, so. All right, now, and this is all part of the beginning. They're doing other things. I won't, I won't say anything. Let me let you watch it. No, I didn't oh, listen. Purpose. Okay, so I, I, I will do it again and show you where I did these chunks. But, all right, so this whole, what I want you to notice in this first part, I'm going to stop it again, okay? I'm going to stop it. Keep in mind that whatever the theme is, it doesn't have to occur throughout. It's what stands out in that, over that period of time. So in the beginning of this, they're walking. But that's not what I, I I'm going to divide this first big thing, what is stand out for me or what stood out for me yesterday in the midst of my exhaustion <laughs> and trying to make something, was that there was turning. So the, the theme actually begins with that walking part of it. But, but what I want you to notice now in this first part of it is the turning part of it, the turning. And, and I'm not going to say how many turns they are or how many or, or, or how long they last, but the turning part of it. Now there's a pause. Now this next thing that I want you to think about is the fact that they're stepping. Okay, now I wanted you to end up, the, the, that turn that happened in the end was for me the last, was the last chunk was about turning. Now whether or not you agree with my perception, but this is what I'm communicating to you. So is this clear at this point? Do you have questions? Yeah. Have question. Yes. How might you talk about the direction? Because to me that passage is mostly about that diagonal pole of them coming through the space. Okay. Um, and I see, I see the stepping, I see the turning. Okay. But if we're thinking about the aboutness of that phrase, right? Um, uh, when I see, see it, it's mostly wet, wet, wet stuff. You spray it. No, spray it. Spray, yeah. Every time I make a thing, I have to spray this. Yeah, because that's oh. a wet. Um, okay, say it. I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Now. Oh no, I mean, I, it just seems that the 
the, the, the strong aboutness of that is the pull is down that diagonal. The their, bo okay. their bodies lean into the direction that they're going, and even okay. though they're walking and turning on this. For you, the diagonal is, if, if you were going to say to me, you know what, I see that, and, and you, I see the same unit. For me, you know, I can, I can, I can see what you're talking about, about <coughs> that, that first part of it was a section. You know, but I absolutely I, see the sections, but then I was thinking, how much I, I talk about the, the spatial okay. aboutness? So, simply enough, let's say, and I'm gonna, I'm being kind of fudgy about how long the, the unit were. Oh, yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't right. um, do that accurately, but know that you can, you know, by lengthening or shortening the thematic. So, so, all right, so you want to say that it was about a, a certain, which, a, a, any diagonal direction? <laughs> Or well, I mean, diagonal strict, right? Because it's not. I mean, it's not. It's not about this. It's but it about just, in terms of the space moving. The move. The moving. The the, the, the strong pull from that little area where they enter in this. With, with a of, constant cross. What about this? It's it's a more, but it isn't that. It's constant cross room. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So why don't we say? Are we discussing what the themes Where were? She, yeah. she wants to say, I mean, you can Her put in here anything that you want. So let's make it, um, right. Would it be possible right to say diagonal. that it was? No, not that diagonal. It's, it's the, yeah. In, it's if you look in, from the stage point of view, it's the right forward diagonal. Oh, right. Would it be possible to say something like that the theme was, uh, a mating ritual that used mirroring and the deviation of mirroring to suggest approach and retreat? All right, so... Or is that too no, verbal? No, I think, well, the point of having the motif is everybody's observations different and their focus is different. Well, it could, but we're, yeah. we're just saying, yes, yeah. this is another so, possibility. Yeah. I I, now I may I'm I'm telling you a way of I think of but we could sit here and think about this way of talking about mm -hmm. what the theme would be or how to notate that I might do something this is my the first thing that comes mm -hmm. to my head that I approach and I withdraw or something I, I'm thinking about that but the idea is that you're getting it that that this chunk of time we talk about it. And now we're showing what that chunk of time is about, rather than what happens this moment, this moment, this moment, and this moment. Now, how, what that, what the themes are, or what the chunks of times are. I mean, that's the art of notating, isn't it? Yeah. And that's right. So, yes, exactly. So, let me give you some other examples. Okay. We could go on and on trying to figure out how to notate what he said. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's actually. You, yeah. Yes. Before we, we do that, though, uh, uh, for um, I actually don't know what this is called, but I think it's like effort shape. You know, it's like mm -hmm. this weird shape. Mm -hmm. Only part mm -hmm. of it is drawn. Is that mm -hmm. called effort shape notation? Yeah. Well, there's effort. There's effort. 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 Diagram. Effort. Symbol. I don't know what it's called. Like. Uh, this is what I actually use this. And we're going to talk about this it's in a minute. Lightness. Let's lightness. So, well, my question would be, okay. uh, that symbol gets used in lab notation and presumably in motif notation yes, as well, right? definitely. Without needing a bow, right? I'm going to come to this. It's a very important question, and it, it does need a bow. It, 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 the bow is a very valuable for effort. Let me... Okay, let's keep let's going. Let's see, how long do you I have? You have till 11. Oh, we have till 11. Well, we're doing half an hour for each, oh, and okay. I'm going last, and I have to leave at noon. Okay, all right. But this is a very important issue, and the thematic boat does address an issue in effort that needs to be addressed. Okay, let's just go on and give a couple of other examples. What's number two is, um, oh, here we go. I was going <laughs> to, no, that's three, four. Oh, there it is. Um, Let's <coughs> let's let's go to um, let's go to three, and then we'll go to four, which is which is what you're talking about. 
we're going to do the Miss Piggy example partly because I can't. Uh, these are a lot of these are examples that are that are in my online oh. course and our online course, <laughs> the Bureau's online course, for um, a, a student who want to learn motif notation. And we have many, many videos that give examples of all different movement components, but one chapter is devoted to effort. And so, um, uh, well, the, anyway, and, and another, this, this one I think is devoted, this one is, I can't remember what this next, one, what chapter it is. But anyway, the point is, the point is, it's such a funny Escape. thing. I, I wanted to find a way of um, including this in our discussion because I love it, Miss Piggy. Now, what I am, what what I'm saying is, this is a sequence. Can you see this? Yes. And I'm going to say this whole little sequence is about one thing, and you'll you'll see that this this is the theme of it, and. It, happens at the very end. So there's lots of stuff that goes on before, but what I'm saying is the Christ, this stood out for me. I wanted you to notice what happens at the very end. And that can be the theme. It doesn't have to be something, again, I'm repeating, that happens most or that happens throughout. It can be just something that happens at the end of a chunk of time. So look at, so what I'm saying to you in my notation is, Look at this notation, and at the end, something happens that I want you to be aware of, or I want to point out. Snorea. Oh. All right, it's what happens at the end that I wanted you to be, I want to say to you, oh, that's what, stood out for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ray, that the that her torso is 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 on the man. You see? We didn't have to now if I was gonna write moment to moment, you wouldn't know that that's what I wanted you to notice. You mm -hmm. get it? And and that's okay. Now we're gonna go to the effort <coughs> issue. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes, Before, please. I, I want to get to the effort one, but okay. uh, still on this. Okay. If, if you wanted the the uh, torso on the man uh, concept, since it's notation, since it's motif, wouldn't you just have you know you'd have the double line indicating the start, and then you'd have torso on man, and you're done, right? But I'm saying, I'm saying. If I did what you're saying, I, what I'm saying is I want you to, in this whole period of time, she does, oh, she does, if I was going to write a, a motif and break it up into smaller chunks, you know, and in, in, in terms of the kind of units that we usually use in both motif notation and in LM, you know, the size of the unit, right? I mean, I would, I would probably do something like, I don't know what it is, what she does. Jump, So, so jump. you're saying that you'd have a lot of different movements just indicated. Like, just right? like in Laban, in, 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 in Laban notation, the, so, the, 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 the length of the unit, the amount of time. So she, what does she do? She does jump, then she does jump, and then Pure. she does turn, and then she moves with her arm. I mean, I don't know what she does. Okay. But at the and, and that would be really the equivalent. It's the same thing in lava notation, mm -hmm. right? Except we just say, you know, what jump, whatever it is, right? Right. Whatever it is, oh, jump, oh, jump, oh, uh, arm. I don't know. Right. But, you know what I'm saying. But then and at then the, the end, arm. her and then torso the, lands on the man. And the, her her and then her torso ends on the man, right? Now. So I have two ways of wanting to tell you about this. One way I want to tell you about is I want to say to you, in the beginning there's this, then there's this, then there's this, then there's this, then there's this. Then there's this. Right. But what I want to tell you, Zach, to notice when you look right. at this movement, no, I understand that. Is but not this, this, and this. What I don't understand is why you would need the bow. So for example, why not just have two motif staffs? One of them has this level of detail, and one of them has 
this level of detail. Just okay. one right next to the other. Well, well, then you... If I write something like this, you mean? Do... Do whatever. You, you just have have this this here, right. just right in the middle, and that's the whole step. Because what that says in motif notation... Just do that movement. It means, but this, what, what this says in motif notation is stop moving, just like wouldn't in, in lava notation. Don't move. Have Nothing happening. Then she lands on the man. Now don't move. It's the same in lava no in motif notation. The, the difference in motif notation is at any at any so whatever at this so unit the theme of time bow expresses an idea. The the key idea of a bunch of movements that may not be directly related. It's, it's, it says that over this amount of time, there are <coughs> movements going on. These movements that are going on. Okay. But I'm going to extract from that movement over time, just like what motif notation does for us is to say horizontally, you know, in lava notation, we might say um, what the first movement, she goes up like this. I'm going to say that the arms go up and I go and I do a jump, whatever it is. Uh, at the first movement, what do I do? I, I don't remember. My arms Doesn't go matter. Up <laughs> and I and I and I jump. I jump. Um, Both uh, yeah, second. Whatever position. it is, and my palms go a certain place, and and I do it with a certain a certain quality. All of this stuff horizontally. What I do in motif notation is I say, looking horizontally at all this different stuff. What did that? Give at that mo at that mo moment is salient. So this is saying horizontally what's salient. This is saying horizontally and vertically what's salient. Does that make sense to you? Okay. Yeah. So, like previously, Hannah observed, you know, with the first. Um, video we saw you mm -hmm. know sh her observations moving diagonally right and then so in this m video that you are talking about you know the highlight what I consider is the highlight right. of the you know landing part right Piggy, then on the man um, so the other person can have a different expression of course just but the same is true and we could get a whole different discussion I was thinking about that in LN because there are it's not only that there are many different ways of of notating the same movement, you know, is my does my elbow go up, is it flex on? But what what of all the things that happen, we also make choices. Do we notate what's going on in the face? I mean it depends upon why you're writing. You know, Sandra tends to write all the different da 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 da, da you know, every because she really is trying to preserve for I mean this is I'm just guessing because I haven't read all of her scores. <clears throat> you know, her purpose is to really preserve technique a lot of times. You know, whatever. Yeah. I mean, it seems mm -hmm. that, that that this um, and forgive me, I'm sure this is already happening. Um, but the the thematic bracket it would work really well in an LN score because you can get all the details in, and then on the side, but the movement is about this. Right, especially for more exactly. contemporary work where there's a, b a billion different things going on, exactly. but the movement is really about this. Exactly, right? and and there and and I, I we'll skip forward to this one in a minute, but it's this is really really useful for um, um, 